Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to use Pixelmator Pro to make a series of images look like a continuous scroll on Instagram like this one. We're gonna be using images I found on Pixabay and I'm going to be doing a Las Vegas theme because I am going to NAB in Vegas in April and I'm super excited about it. Are you gonna be there? Let me know in the comments. All of these images will be linked down below. Don't forget to tip your Pixabay creators. Let's just dive right into it. All right, here we are on Pixelmator Pro. I am going to create a new document and under the presets, we are going to use a custom setting. We wanna start by making the size of this canvas square. So I'm going to fill in 1080 wide and 1080 height. But then we need to think about how many slides we want in our image sequence. I know I want five slides in my image sequence. So I'm gonna head back up to the width field and I'm going to add to my 1080 value a star and the number five. And it's going to automatically calculate for me the dimensions I need for my project. You can see it up here in the preset. Let's hit create. And now we've got this long strip to create our composition with. The next thing we need to do is start adding some guides. So we're going to head up to the view menu and navigate down to guides. I'm going to select the vertical option and we're going to position our first guide at 1080 pixels. All right, let's add our next guide by going back up to view, guide, add guide, vertical, and our next value needs to be double 1080. So we're gonna go 2160. The next one is 3240. And the last one is 4320. And now you can see I've divided my project into five equally sized parts. All right, now I'm gonna add in all of my images. I've got them all saved in one folder, and I'm just gonna click and drag them into my project. And now one by one, I'm going to cut out the subjects of each of these images using the quick selection tool. If you're not familiar with the quick selection tool, I would recommend you jump back to the first video in this series where I go over the quick selection tool for everyone else. I'm just gonna speed this part up for you. Okay, now I'm going to reveal this image layer. I'm gonna hit Command Zero to snap my canvas back to full screen here. And I'm going to use the color fill tool, the shortcut for this is N, to fill this image layer with this light blue color. That's going to be our sky. So now it's time to start placing our cutout images in our project. So I'm gonna start with the mountain range and I'm going to make that the backdrop of all of our images. So I'm going to enable that in my layers panel and I'm just going to scale it up and reposition it until I'm happy with how it looks. Now I'm gonna start putting in all of our fun cutout images over this. You really wanna think about what is each individual square gonna look like when it's on Instagram, when you're laying in your images and you wanna make sure your first square is really eye-catching. So I'm gonna start with the Las Vegas sign. All right, next up, I'm going to drop in this image of the New York, New York Hotel's fake New York skyline. I'm just gonna rough the placement of some of these bigger images just to try to get a general idea of my layout. And what I'm basically trying to avoid is any really harsh edges where you can see where things are cropped. For this image of these dice, I wanna isolate them so I can move them individually. So here's a trick for you. I'm going to use my rectangle selection tool to draw a box around the first die. Now I'm going to hit the shortcut command J and watch what happens in my layers panel. I now have just that die as an individual layer. Now I'm going to select the original image again. I've still got that bigger die selected with the rectangle selection tool and I'm going to hit the delete key. And now you can see I've got the smaller die as its own layer as well. So now I can move these around as I see fit. And now let's play with the order of these images in my layer. Remember, whatever's on the top is going to overlap what's underneath it. So I'm gonna start by bringing my Las Vegas sign to the top of my layers panel. I'm going to bring this Elvis Presley sign down beneath this hotel here so that the post of the sign is not on top of the hotel. I'm going to move this die above the Las Vegas sign. And I'm just gonna reposition and resize it a little bit. Now I'm gonna start playing a little bit more with the details in this image. So the first thing I wanna do is sort of make those mountains fade off into the background. So I'm just going to select this layer and I'm just gonna dial down the opacity up here at the top of my layers panel. So they're just not so vibrant. So everything else just kind of pops. 
Now I want to add drop shadows to all of my images to really make them feel a little bit more like they pop off the screen. So I'm going to select all of my images except for the mountains by holding down my shift key, clicking the first layer and then clicking the last layer I want to affect. Then we are going to hit S for the style tool and I'm going to enable the shadows here. Now what I'm about to do is going to affect all of those layers. I want all of the shadows to be going in the same direction. Now I'm gonna go in layer by layer and fine tune the parameters of these drop shadows. Remember, the harsher, more opaque the shadow is, the closer together those two elements will appear. So think about how you want your project to feel depth-wise. This is a pretty wild Vegas scene. How do we make this though separate images? We're going to use what is called the slice tool. The slice tool is the last tool in the tools menu on the right side of your Pixelmator Pro interface and it's hidden underneath the crop tool. You might be defaulted to the crop tool here. I'm going to click on that button and select this option. This is the slice tool. It says export for web. And then what we're going to do is click and drag our squares to create these individual slices. It's pretty easy to be precise with this because the slice tool will snap to the guides that we created. So I'm just going to select square by square I'm going to hit export and I'm just going to export these guys to the desktop. And then if we go to our finder, you can see there are our five images individual and you can see the composition of each image. If there was anything you wanted to change, you could just go back in and tweak it. Now I'm going to log into my Instagram account from my desktop, hit the create button here. And I'm going to drag all five of those images all in one group to my computer. And then you can see as I click through, they're in the perfect order in which I want them. I'm going to hit next. Let's write a caption. And then here on your phone is your perfect continuous scroll. So that is how you make a continuously scrolling post on Instagram in Pixelmator Pro. If you guys use this technique and you upload to Instagram, tag me in it at Jen Jager Video. I'd love to see your work. If you wanna use the exact same images I did, I will link to them all down below in the description box from Pixabay. I hope to see you in Vegas. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I picked out some other videos I know you're gonna love and I'll see you again.